What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we are still working on the interior of the Hilux. Now today I want to get it complete. So that means we got to do something with the door panels, something with the inside of the doors as far as paintwork goes. I do have a few parts on the way as well to kind of tidy things up. And also we got to do something with the sun visor. So I think that's what we're going to start with. I have some of that material left over from the headliner and I think I'm actually going to try to stitch it on. These are the headliners but honestly aren't in that bad of shape they're pretty decent but i kind of want to use this headliner material the diamond stitch stuff right here i think that would look really good and it would match the headliner i think it'd look really sweet so i think that's a game plan we're going to glue this stuff on and then i think i'm going to stitch around the whole outside edge of the sun visor so it'll be two pieces on either side and then stitched around the center basically if that makes any sense so let's get some glue out get the stuff cut up let's tackle that and then we can bust these doors out get some paint work on them, do something with the door panels. I actually, I think I'm going to match the same diamond material on my door panels as well. So I actually really like that stuff. It looks really good. I think it'll look really good on door panels as well. That's enough talking, let's get straight to work. Well, we got those sun visors done. If I never see another needle or thread in my life, I think I'll be just fine. Those things took like four or five hours to stitch around the whole outside and we had to do two of them. So that was kind of a pain in the butt, but they did turn out good. So I'm happy with that. So next thing, let's jump on these doors. So here's the doors. Like I said, they need some work. We're gonna go through. I think I'm gonna paint the whole inside up to this edge here. So we gotta rip all this apart, do some, I'll probably just hit this bad, bad rusted area with some pour 15. We'll let that cure up and then we'll paint the inside of the doors. The panels we're gonna completely redo. Like I said, we got some more of that diamond stitching stuff. So we're gonna redo that. I'm trying to source uh, handles that are black. I haven't really found them. I don't know if the newer the newer Toyota pickups use the same handles and window cranks also. I gotta find a new regulator. As you can see this thing gets to a certain point here and just starts slipping. So either find a new one or I'm gonna tear it apart I guess and see if I can fix it. But either way, let's get these doors torn down and first things first, I wanna work on the paint so we can let that paint dry. While that's drying, we can work on door panels.
Well guys, next thing on the list, a couple parts that I was looking for, we got in. So steering column cover and the ignition. So the ignition on mine is actually fine. It's just that kind of the cam inside there, that notch on mine is busted out. So when you turn the ignition, it doesn't do anything, but he did send me this whole ignition and I think I'm gonna get one of his door locks and I want matching keys. So I'm just gonna swap the whole ignition into my truck. This, I'm gonna give a quick paint job with that SEM paint. That stuff works so good on plastics. This is in really good shape, but I figured I might as well freshen it up, make it brand new. He also sent over a couple of stickers. So this guy's name is Hilux Low Lux on Instagram. Go check him out. That's his truck. Huge shout out to you, thanks for the homey hookup on the parts. Let's get this ignition swapped out, give this a quick paint job, and then we can get back to work on those doors. Also, if you guys are curious how to get this ignition out, what you gotta do, stick the key on accessory right there, and then there's that pin right there, so you just take a little prick something in there. You should be able to slide the ignition out just like that. So I'm gonna swap that out, We'll swap out this wiring and we'll be good to go in the ignition. Also guys, another thing I got sent over, I want you to check out is the shift knob. So this is actually a guy that sent this over. He recovers these. So this is actually a factory. I think it's a forerunner style knob, you can see. And he completely recovered it with some leather and it looks really, really good. I want you guys to go check him out. He recovers these for customers. So if you want to get your shift knob recovered, I'll have his email address down in the description box. Like I said, this thing looks really, really good. This is just are black leather now he does have a few other colors that he does wrap these so go check him out if you want a brand new looking shift knob Well boys, that is about as far as we're gonna be able to get today. I am waiting and waiting for parts. So those little buckets or trim pieces around the door handles, I found in black. Mine were broken, so I, I would have painted them. But mine all busted up, so we got those on the way. Also, driver side door regulator is completely stripped out. The gear is junk. I have one of those on the way as well. So we're just basically waiting for a few parts to get in so we can finish up these doors, 
get these doors on. Also, the door hinges were completely trash, so we gotta figure out something with the pins or the bushings on those hinges. So that is coming up, and I wanna stop you guys before you go comment and say you didn't put speakers, you didn't do any sound system at all in the doors. I am planning on that as well, but I'm waiting for all the parts to do that as well. So that is coming up very soon. We're gonna go through and do a sweet sound system in this thing. Should sound really good. I got some really cool plans for that. That being said, these doors turned out so freaking good. I don't know why with everything I've done to the truck, for some reason these door panels just set it off for me. I think the thing I like most about them is honestly those little armrests I put on. So from the factory, they just have this ghetto little strap right here that's kind of just bent out and screws on so you can pull the door closed. I really didn't like that, and they're brown. So these are actually off of a, a third gen pickup, 89 and 95 pickup. I had these laying around, give them a paint job, bolted them on, I had to move one mount, but they look so good on here. And they're an actual armrest, so you kind of rest your arm on it. So all in all, I am very, very happy with this. I am very excited to get this thing 100% back together as far as interior wise once we get a couple more parts in. So that is coming very soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna cut it off here. Why don't you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.